Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be testing out the new L'Oreal Steam Pod. I actually have the original of this that I'm going to show you in this video. Um, but I'm also going to put some makeup on, so it's going to be a bit of a get ready with me and a little mini first impressions. The last time I did a get ready with me of any kind, it went a little awry um, because whatever I put on my face, it made my eyes water, like beyond, I sounded real posh when I said, made my eyes water. Um, I'm not even sure what it was, to be honest, because there was nothing new that I was using at all. Um, so hopefully today I can avoid that, but I'm also not gonna do anything heavy, so fingers crossed. I really still am a fan of the Lumen. I've got this like, I think it's like two breakouts in one, to be honest. This has got to be, her removal related because there's at least one hair coming out of that cystic thing. Um, I'm really still liking the Lumen. However, I suspect it's going off. It's not smelling as fresh as it used to. Um, so I'm using it up while I can. But just throwing out there, I think we looked the last time I mentioned it and it said like 24 months. I don't think that's necessarily true because mine is maybe 12 months and it's on its way out. That said, I'm like, I've only got a little bit of it left, but it still is definitely my like go-to base when I'm wanting to feel fresh and um, kind of a little bit glowy. Like is it? Not much of anything, just kind of a little swish of eyeshadow, liner and mascara I think today. I actually just used um, like a dark brown shadow from the Naked 2 palette, which is my new favourite palette, as my liner. And this is Nars Sex Appeal. And on a postcard, why do I love this? Totally fallen back in love with the original Lash Sensational. I was kind of flirting with other ones recently, and then I used this the other day and was like, there's a reason it's the best. On my lips, I have Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury as the lip liner, and then High Tea from MAC, which Truth be told, it's a little bit shimmery for me, but I really like them together. As I'm putting it on, it feels very 90s. You know, when we had like, um, a, not, a, not a shimmer, you know, like a, like a sheeny lipstick. I suppose like Heather Shimmer would fall into that category, but like almost metallic. That feels very 2000s. Anyway, let's open this up. So this was sent to me, as was the original, and I think that was five years ago. Um, I may even throw in some flashbacks for you. Ooh. Steam. It's like an iron. This is so funky. Swear to God, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel dry at all. But what was I even saying? Lost my train of thought then. Can't stop touching my hair. This is the original steam pod. Um, it had literally a, a pod for water that had suction cups on the bottom because obviously you don't want it to be all over the place. It was connected by a cable. It's a lot. It was a really nice straightener and it gave the effect of more of a blow dried hair. It didn't give you those kind of frazzled ends that straightening your hair can give you. It didn't look as flat. It looked more like it had been blow dried straight than it had been straightened um, and very, very soft. It didn't feel as, as harsh on your hair, but it, it's a lot. This is a lot. I didn't use it a lot for this reason. So they've changed it and now it's all self-contained and the water goes directly into the straightener. Now, if you're around my age, 35, you will remember the original straighteners. Before GHDs were a thing and like straightening irons became the norm, this was the norm. They had a little chamber for water and they were all steam straighteners. They were irons for your hair. And so it's kind of funny that this has made a comeback as like a specialist item, like a steam pot, because this is like an old fashioned idea. Um, but I'm really into the thing of it being like all in one. So whether or not it's still going to be, ugh, do I want to put water in it? We'll see. Um, but I do remember really liking the effect of the other one and this makes it a lot more convenient. It comes with a little bottle and, oh, okay. So there's like a little, get my face out of it so it'll actually focus, a little stopper and then you put the water in there, I'm assuming, because who reads instructions? No one. Okay, so I'm filling it up. Put the little sucker back in. 
remember how this goes on. Okay, that was simple. I'm gonna put it on the lowest setting. Just as I turn on the camera, it stopped making the noise. It was making this like nah, noise that I kind of remember. Right. This is the noise. So there's an arrow that leads me to believe I'm supposed to use it this way. There are arrows on the white part. Right, so I'm gonna. I feel like, oh, I can see the steam now. I was gonna say, I feel like I should see the steam. Okay, I've turned it up a little bit because I don't think it's giving me the straightest of straight hair. Also, because it's got a comb, it's got a little comb there. Although I have brushed through the sections that I'm straightening, it's kind of catching because my hair is quite tangly. Um, something to note. It is catching on some knots. It feels soft. It doesn't have that. I do tend to get... Um, when I straighten my hair, I do to get, tend to get that kind of like fried end feeling. And I remember this, it looks kind of shinier than it would if I'd normally straightened it. And it feels soft, it feels nice. Also, I've got, I'd say more than three quarters of the water left. It's up to about here after doing the bottom section of my hair. The comb is causing me the most problems. It's like if it doesn't quite get it at the right, spot I think that's the ultimate thing I have to like perfectly line up the comb so that it smooths as it steams because the comb seems to be integral I actually think I'm getting the hang of it now I think with a regular straightening iron you can just kind of slightly open it and grab with this you need to open enough huh? you need to open it enough to make sure that the comb doesn't drag your hair back up again because that, I think that's what was causing me the most problem. I need to make sure it's completely open and then clamp and that combs your hair through as it steams and then it works really nicely. I think with a little bit of practice, I could even get a little bit of a wave because I kind of got a bit of a bend in the front there, which again, gives me a bit of a faux blow dry. I am still having a problem though. I've just brushed this through and it's really catching on my hair. Right, I did all my hair and still more than two thirds of the water is left. This obviously is just a very small first impressions review. If you're interested in kind of a longer, how do I feel about this? I'll definitely include this in a Friday Faves and Fails in the next few weeks when I've used it a few more times. Um, I can just feel the, oh man, it's really made a knot. Ow, that's, <laughs> That's the biggest problem for me. Um, my hair is very tangly. It just is. Naturally <laughs> tangly hair. If you are like me, this might not be for you. I remember really, really enjoying this, but I had very, very short hair and my hair was super damaged and I was nervous of heat. I felt like everything that I did to my hair just made it look worse. And this, because of the steam, I don't know if it was because it was felt like it was hydrating, I don't know, but it made my hair look nice. It made my hair look smoother. I say nice, it was a real bad hair moment for me at the time, but it made my hair look smoother. And I think if you had um, particularly damaged hair or if you had uh, maybe curly hair, although still tangles, I can see people that this would work for, but my first impressions are not particularly positive. Although I really like 
the effect and I feel like I get more shine from this and a softer finished result than I do with a regular straightener like more more so like I blow dried my hair but it's sleeker the issue of the tangling and the catching is a real problem for me um whether or not there's going to be a way of using it like a particular technique that I can get away from that I will keep you updated but just as a first impression I'm just trying to see what is different about this so this it just was like a slightly larger thing it's still got the steam coming out of it it's still got a comb um I'm not entirely sure what made it different, but I suspect the biggest thing that made it different was the length of my hair. I think that's what it was. Obviously, this is a lot more convenient than the original, um, but I think the reason that I'm struggling with it now that I didn't then is the, the length of my hair. So yeah, let me know what you think if you've tried this before. Let me know if it's something that you are interested in. And um, like I say, I'll keep you posted in my Friday Faves and Fails. But for now, thanks for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Bye.